in this video, we will learn how to extract data from monday.com to Microsoft Excel. Now suppose guys, you are using monday.com to manage your business. So you want that whenever a new item is created in the mon your monday.com board, you want to add the details of that new item into Microsoft Excel as a new row. And guys, I must tell you that you can completely automate this process. And the trigger of this automation will be creation of new item in monday.com. And the action will be addition of row in Microsoft Excel. Now how you can set up this automation for yourself, that too absolutely be and easily. To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first, we will go to our browser and search for pabbly pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just 2 minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign to my own Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. And in this page, you just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. Now as you click on access now, you will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as monday.com to Microsoft Excel, MS Excel and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new items which we are creating in monday.com in Pabli Connect. Then after that using Pabli Connect, we will send that data, that details which we have received from monday.com to Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Now to do this, here in trigger window in choose app, we have to search for monday.com. Monday.com it is. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we have to select new item in board. So basically guys, you in this video, I'm taking this example that if I get a new item, I want to extract that data and add it to Microsoft Excel. So basically you can get any, you can basically select any of these triggers. Either you can get the data, extract the data of monday.com whenever an item name is changed or when the item status is changed. So you can basically select any of these according to your choice. I want that whenever a new item is created in a board in my monday.com account, the details of that newly created item should be added in Microsoft Excel sheet. After selecting our trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect our monday.com account with Public Connect. And how we are going to do this? You can refer to the help text given below over here. So just copy this webhook URL from here, go to your monday.com account. And after reaching this account page, on the left side, we can see there is a profiles option. Just click on this and here, just click on integrations. After reaching to this integrations page, just scroll down and here you have an option named as webhook. Just click on webhook. After clicking on webhooks, we, are, we can see there are several webhook events like when a new update posted, send webhook. When a new column change, send webhook. When an item is created, send webhook. So here we have different events. So we want to we want that monday.com should send the data when a new item is created. So here you can see there are several events. You can basically select any of this event according to your choice and add the webhook URL. I want to add get the data when a new item is created using this webhook URL. So I will just select this event and click on add to board. And after that here we just have to paste the webhook URL. So the webhook URL which we have copied from Public Connect, just paste it over here. And after that just click on connect. And that's it guys. We have successfully connected monday.com with Public Connect. Let's click on add to board and this webhook URL is added and now it is active. After doing this, after adding this webhook URL and connecting our monday.com account with Public Connect, what we have to do, we have selected event as new item in board. So we have to basically generate a test response. For that, we will basically add a test item, a dummy item in our monday.com board. How we are going to do this? So this is my board and this is the board name is this month. So we are just going to add a dummy item over here. So let me add the item as MS Excel. 
function is pending. MS Excel integration is pending. Okay, so this is an item which I have created. Let me add a person, for example, test ID and the status is stuck. Okay, so just now I have added a new item in my monday.com board. So this is the item name, this is the person to whom I have assigned and this is the status of the item. Now, because we have connected monday.com and Pabli Connect, we will see as we add this item, the details of this newly added item in our monday.com board will be captured inside Pabli Connect. So let's go to Pabli Connect and here we will see that we will be receiving the response within few seconds. And yes, guys, as you can see here, we have received the response and in this response, you will see the details of the new item which we have created just now. So like this, you can see this is the title of the item which we have added and this month, this is the name of the group in which group we have added this title and this is the date and time at what date and time this title is added. But guys, we haven't received the details like other details of this item. For example, the person to whom we have assigned and what is the status. So basically guys, what we have to do, we have to actually extract the details of this newly created item in our monday.com board. Now to do so, to extract the details, we will just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, we will once again search for monday.com. So we will be using a action step of monday.com that is get item. So let me scroll down, get an item. This is the action step. Just select this action step in the action window. And after that, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now what we have to do using the webhook URL, we have connected monday.com with public connect in the trigger step. But now to connect monday.com in action step, we have to enter the API token of our monday.com account. Now here you must be thinking how we are going to get the API token. So follow the help text given below over here. Just go to your monday.com account and on the left side, we can have this profiles option. Just click on it. And after that, click on admin section over here. After clicking on admin section on the left side, we can see several options out of which there's an option named as API. Click on API. And then here you can see the API key of your monday.com account. Just click on this copy button, go to public connect and paste it over here. And after that, just click on save. And now you will see that your monday.com account will be added in the action step as well. After connecting monday.com account, it is asking us three things, board, group and item ID. That what is the item ID of the item whose details we want to get. Then what is the group in which group that item is created and in which board. So basically we have received the group ID, item ID and the board ID over here in our trigger response. So this is the basically the board ID. This is the item ID and this is the group. So one by one, we have to map these details over here in this field of monday.com. And guys, before mapping, just turn the mapping button in front of this on and clear the default response. And after that, let me tell you that the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see all the responses which we have received from monday.com in our trigger window of creation of new item can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of board ID and map it over here. And that we can see that this board ID is now successfully mapped over here. After mapping the board ID, we have to map the group. So just turn the group button on over here, that mapping button in front of group on, just clear it. And from the drop down, we have this group ID. So just map this group. And after that, at last item ID, just turn the mapping button on in front of item ID, clear the item ID field and from the drop down, select the and map this pulse ID that is the item ID. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, as we click on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we will find all the details of this new item, which we have created. We have the name of the item, the date and time at what date and time this item was created. Then we have the group of the item. Then we will scroll down and we will have the status. So stuck. This is the status of the item. So guys, basically we can see that all the details of this new item, which we have created in monday.com are now received. Now let's basically send these details into our Microsoft, Microsoft Excel sheet. For that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And here in choose app, we will search for Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel it is. 
And after that, in action event from the drop down, we will select add row to worksheet. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now guys, we have to basically connect our Microsoft Excel account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we just have to click on connect th with this button of connect with Microsoft Excel. So guys, as we click on this, you can see that Pabli Connect has de automatically detected my Microsoft Excel account. Because guys, in this browser, I have already logged into my Excel sheet. So this is my sheet. I have already logged into my Microsoft Excel account. And here, Public Connect has detected the account and asking me for the authorization permission. I'll just click on yes and give it the permission. And after that, we will see that our Microsoft Excel account will automatically get connected with Public Connect. After making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the workbook. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the workbooks which we have created in Microsoft Excel can be seen over here. And out of which we have to select the workbook in which we want to add this new item details. So I have created this workbook by the name of new items. So I will select this workbook from the drop down new items. Now after mapping the workbook, it is asking us for the worksheet. So here, as you can see in this workbook, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. So we will select sheet one in the worksheet section. And after selecting the worksheet, it is asking us column A, column B, column C and column D. So we can see all the columns which we have created in our Microsoft Excel sheet can be seen over here. And now we have to map the data which we want to add in this column. So in place of column A, in column A, we wanted to add the name of the item. So we have received name of the item from monday.com. This is the name. So we have to basically map this name of the item over here in this column A field. And guys, as we also, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down from the responses of monday.com, select the name of the item and map it over here. And yes, it is mapped. Now in column B, we wanted to map the status. So we have received the status in the second step, get item step of this uh, newly created item. So from this responses, from the responses of monday.com get item responses step, we will select the status. So this is the status, just select it and map it. Now in column C, we wanted to add the date and time at what date and time we have created. So that too we have received from monday.com. This is created date and time, just select it and map it. And at last it is asking us in column D, it is asking us for the group name. So we have received the name of the group. This is the name of the group this month in which we have created this, uh, uh, basically created this item this month. This is the name of the group. So we have mapped the name of the group over here. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have successfully received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the details of new item creating a creation of new items from monday.com is now successfully added in our Microsoft Excel sheet. So let's check it. We'll go to Microsoft Excel. We will just refresh this sheet once. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same details of the same item which we have created just now in this video a few minutes ago, the details of that same item, uh, item are now, now extracted and are added in our Microsoft Excel sheet. This is the same item name, same st status which we have added, the same created date and time at what date and time we have created this item and in which group. So in this way guys, we have successfully created this automation by which whenever a new item will be created in Microsoft, in monday.com, the details of that new item creation will be added in Microsoft Excel. So in this video, we took an example of new item creation, but as I told you, you can basically set up this automation for, for some other event as well, as you can see in the trigger window response, sorry, in the trigger window. So guys, not just these applications, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Public Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pabli. Thank you. Have a nice day.